What up, fellow Clashers? It's me, Gromach, coming in with you live with another COC episode. In this episode, we're going to go ahead and show you what we've done so far up to the, my base here on Unboxed. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at, and into what it takes to actually raid at this level. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Uh, check this out, guys. I just upgraded all the walls extremely fast, and I was able to upgrade a lot of my uh, defenses. I still got a couple more defenses to go, and then I'm going to do all the uh, elixir storages and the gold mines. I, I decided to do the elixir and gold mines last because, really, I'm getting all my resources from my raids. Might as well just toss them where they're more used, protect my resources as I earn them, and just totally just kick butt, right? Because again, I'm trying to upgrade as fast as I can here. So um, let's take a look here. Uh, right now, uh, it got my t uh, Archer Tower upgrading currently to level four, both of them. Uh, my cannon's already maxed at level five. Can't go any higher for right now. I still have my mortar to do. I got my AD actually in the process. Notice how I have my base laid out. This is actually my defense base right now for uh, farming. Uh, I decided to put the AD in the center because I know that a lot of people like to use loons to go ahead and send them in. And I want to make the loons make it so they just can't quite get in there and hammer out my defenses. So I spaced them all apart. I even got uh, these tar pits, is what I call them, of the uh, gold storages and elixir storages blockading, preventing anything from coming in and just smashing and wreaking havoc through and taking all my good loot. So, um, Again, the idea is I want to slow them up as much as I can and I separate them into compartments. Notice how each defense is in a separate compartment. Now I do have the mortar on the outside and, and I was debating should I put the mortar in the center or should I have the 80 in the center. And the mortar would be great for ground attacks, the 80 is better for air attacks and I think my biggest weakness would be the air attacks. So uh, just because of how devastating and how much I could just run through the base like hot knife through butter you know it's just it's gotta be careful so that's what i'm doing i'm being careful guys so uh i decided to make it a little trap you know mortar that's the first thing they want to take out if they're sending in ground so uh that means that they're all going to attack from this side over here which i got my trap set up there to take out any of their giants because usually what they're going to do is they're gonna send giants in first so boom kick those guys right out of the air get them out of my base bye see ya that's how it's planned so um Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here. Notice how much uh, uh, the elixir I have. I have a ridiculous amount. I'm never going to be able to use it. I already got everything upgrading, everything moving on as fast as I can. It's really just a matter of time. I'm still going to go ahead and show you some raids here, so you kind of got to see what I'm doing. Um, I'm going to jump on in here and uh, show you. So. Um, Attack log wise, see, I'm getting cups 15, 7, 19, 5, 10, 16, 16. You know, I mean, I lose every once in a while because I come out against something that's a little too tough for me and I'm a little too risk versus reward, and the reward was really high, like extremely high. But um, let's just go through a couple of here as my huge amount of raids. Um, I decided to go uh, switch it up from my normal of sending giants to actually doing a barge style attack because I just noticed that when I was doing the search that um, a lot of the bases were had their loot on the outside just like this so I just send a whole bunch of barbs first and then I follow them up with archers immediately now I noticed on this back side I didn't have an AD protecting so I send the loons in what a perfect place to send some loons in I figure I'll soften it up maybe get some stuff but look at this loon boom just took out two resources and a tower at the same time that is just fantastic I mean I'm just getting mad loot here just blowing things up ripping through this base and nothing's able to stop me now my loons getting a little damaged but no big deal I mean just look at this doom another one guys uh, Barch is also very fantastic. It's super cheap. It's super easy and super fast to build. Uh, you, if you really wanted to, you can you can use a gem and boost your your, your barracks. But I don't recommend it. This level, there's no need. I mean, we're only town hall level four, so there's no need to boost it. There's only a couple of the barracks. Save your gems for the boost for later. Okay, save those gems. Just do yourself a favor. Barch your way through. It doesn't take long to, jam to get that up there. Uh, fill your CC with something that's worthwhile, whether you can you fill, put something in there to attack the other person's CC in case they have it, or you can actually um, just take some balloons, some good air support. Because if you take out the uh, AD, or you take out a couple of uh, archer towers, you, man, those loons will just go straight through the base, and you're in the home clear. 
and you can even be a little more ambitious in your attack. So uh, March is what I decided to go with here. I'm just gonna go on fast forward that because it's just pointless to, there you go. All right, so let's take a look here. All right, let's go on my next one here. Um, uh, let's see, here we go. Uh, here's another barge attack. Uh, this one here, I mean, I barely was able to get the resources, but let's take a look here and see what I was ambitiously going after. Look at the loot there. It's huge. Now, I wasn't able to get everything uh, just because the way this base layout is. This base layout is actually pretty decent. This is typically how I used to send up my base, uh, especially when I get to level five. It's very similar, except for I actually have it connected and make separate compartments because I don't want anybody trickling in and just wreaking havoc on one department. Compartment. So this is a typical setup that I was used to doing. Um, but again, just look at how it's going. Everything's going good. Uh, the loons I sent in just because I really wanted to get my archers in and barbs in deeply into this base to hopefully be able to get that three or at least at least one star it so i don't lose anything on it and then i gain some cups too as well but it was mostly to grab those resources and it was just a smash and grab type of job sometimes you don't make it all the way through again that's barch barch for you is just hitting up those resources just grabbing the resources and booting out of there you're not going for cups you're not going for the three star sometimes you can get the three star but not always so let's go take another look here all right, so um, my attack log, here we go. This is when I, oh, this is my normal, uh, my other attack when I take my uh, um, my other troops here. So you got your, your, your uh, let's go take a look here. So when I come in here, I go ahead and send the giants in and the giants are coming in uh, going for that AD. I, I, no, I noticed that nobody's defending it. So I send in my giants, some wall breakers to bust through that wall. I notice I broke the weaker part of the wall, which is the uh, lower level of the wall. And then I send a bunch of archers following. And then I'm like, okay, this is they're gonna take care of that AD. So I try to tie myself a little bit better and I need to help with some support. So I go ahead and send the loons from this side. I figure if I take out two of those archer towers, I eliminate most of the, the defenses that are harmful to my uh, loons. And then I also got that one that, uh, wizard tower which is distracted right now so i was able to make it closer to it before it got some shots off on me and then at this point then um the loons are just coming through and they're doing their cycle and you can see the pathing that they're going to follow they're going to follow the closest defense uh so it's a little worrisome because i got that archer tower which is one of my bitter enemies when it comes to loons just hitting it but it was just enough to keep my balloon alive and all those little archers my little buddies there, just running straight up and clearing house man that's what i'm talking about you got to clear that house get all that loot take it all i'll take it all thank you thank you thank you there omer yorins whatever okay some people name the things some of the weirdest things anyways we all know this is going to be a three star so just kind of show you i just kind of let it go uh and uh, what's really cool is right about here look at that archer just splits off and says see ya i'm going off to this side Everything else is going this way. That's perfect. That worked out to the best advantage. This allowed me to get that three star. I wasn't going in trying to get a three star. I was going in just grabbing the loot and hope if I get a three star out of it, I get a three star. You know, if I don't, I don't. But <laughs> this it worked out to my benefit because usually I'll send a couple of archers out to these little sidelines to take care of these if I really cared. But I didn't. I wanted them all in there to be able to get as much loot as I could as fast as I could. So if it started to fail, then at least then I got all the loot I needed to. All right. So um, there you go. A couple different attacks. Again, you know, it's up to you what you want to take. Uh, Barch is pretty good, but you got to you got to get a feel of when you're doing the searches so uh let me go ahead and show you what i mean let's go ahead and do an attack here it's a live attack right here um i do a search and um i pull it up and i look at the base i look at the resources this is actually a decent amount then i look and say well can i barch it well yes i can look at those resources full on the side but also know that the, these uh storages are also pretty full so which means half of them is in the storage and half of them is on the outside so do I think that I could actually make it in there in time and be able to smash everything? I don't know. I don't think I want to risk that one. So I look, this is a horrible one. Moving on. Okay, not too bad. Definitely know I could take it. Definitely know I can get those resources, but I'm a little greedy, I need more. Uh, so then I go to this next one. Again, come on guys, give me some loot here. I want loot. If I can get 50,000 in each uh, resource or higher, I feel that is adequate enough for this level. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at this base. Oh man, this is what the base that you're gonna need to find. This is it right here. Look at this loot. Okay, what I'm gonna do is double finger some 
some barch over here, some uh, barbs and some wood archers, and then I go on this side, snag up this res resource, doing the same thing. Oh, guys, oh my gosh, <laughs> look at this. Just give me those resources. I'm good, all good. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and set some assistance here with some loons uh, while they're distracted and hopefully maybe take out a couple of these guys here to allow me to get some more loot. Uh, you know, hey, why not? <laughs> I need to maximize my loot stealing here. Gosh, this is good. Last little loon there. Come on, dude. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, no. It's that AD. See what I mean? Those ADs, man, they protect everything really well. Uh, but it doesn't matter. I mean, I got what I wanted. I got a ridiculous amount of loot out of this base. Um, I even got my one star, so I'm not going to lose any uh, cups in this. I'm trying to advance my cups. I'm trying to get higher. If I get in that gold league, I know that there's some really good barge bases in there that are even higher, and I can get even more loot even quicker. So, uh, especially how low level I am. So, not too worried. I think I did pretty good here. I'm just going to let him keep going here uh, because I want to get as much of this as I can. Oh, this is great, man. This is like fantastic. I couldn't ask for anything more than that. I mean, look at this. I almost filled up my uh, elixir up there at the top right. This base is just funny. And guys, when you get a base like this, <laughs> make it, don't make it one giant compartment. Oh man, you're just asking for your loot to be taken. Look at 88,000, 112,000. I mean, this is almost 200,000 in resources right here. Wow. That you just made my day. It just made my day. And again, I don't even know what I'm going to do with my loot. <laughs> There's just <laughs> not much there. But um, just kind of show you in my queue, I, did, I do about 45 of the archers and 35 of the uh, barbs. And um, I'm talking about 80 is my uh, current capacity, which I think is maxed currently at this level. I don't think I can get any more camps. I wish I could. I would love to have another camp. But yeah, see, that's it. I did build everything. Just double checking because, yeah, I, I want to make sure everything is built. Yep, everything is. So, um, yeah, there you go. There you have it. A couple raids. Um, some of you might be curious, well, how is the defense working on your base? Well, Let's take a look at a couple defenses. Um, again, like I told you, at this low level, defense is kind of pointless, because look at this. Ooh, I had a win, I had a win. Oh wow, that's amazing. No, defense is completely pointless. I mean, yeah, nine cups, four cups, at least did not get three star there. Let's just take a look here and uh, do a replay. So this individual, it looks like I've already been attacked, so maybe my defenses were down. Uh, I had some loons in the CC. He's doing what, he's, what you're supposed to do is draw out the CC, right? bring everybody out away from everybody and then just eliminate it with a bunch of archers that's what i would do that cc be gone those loons are be gone there are no threat anymore gone uh, once that's done of course this guy's taking a long time doing this which is probably why he didn't do so well if you would have actually just piled them around them in a circle and then maybe some in the center just to kind of keep them occupied and stuck there while everybody's shooting at them you could have those loons gone real fast and then you can just go ahead and send in uh your um your giants in. I usually like to lure them in the direction where I want to attack. So if I'm going to hit my own base, um, I mean, that is probably the one I would look at and say, oh, that's an easy target to take. But, you know, that's my trap. I know that already. But typically that's where I would go because this core looks absolutely horrid. And so I would have sent them, I would have lured them off to this side of the base, not over here. So look, he's having a hard time taking down this loons. <laughs> Funny. I don't know what he's doing. Like he's sitting there just wasting all this time. I mean, look at this. A minute 52, and now he's gonna finally attack. A whole minute wasted. Thanks, buddy. Good job. Maybe that's why he didn't get so much. Uh, so he goes in and zaps my cannon, my uh, mortar. That's uh, hilarious. I don't. Okay. All right. I guess he really wants to get that mortar. Okay, and he sends his giants in. Now, uh, I didn't really double check to see how everything uh, flows through this map here, but now that I have an understanding, I know I'm gonna need to move my um, trap over. I think in that corner right there uh, is probably the best idea. So yeah, these giants are gonna flow through this base pretty quickly. Uh, this is before I have my walls up uh, to the max that it could be. And, uh, but see, he's just, this is the way that they're gonna work through this is they're gonna work through the center. And when they work in the center, I got three defenses firing at them. So it just chews them up, okay? This base is designed to chew up whatever comes at them. Uh, now, this is a smart idea to try to get some assistance on the outside, but I had so much junk defense bases or junk, yeah, defense bases that basically it distracted them from being able to get enough shots on them. So it slows up that 
idea, hopefully to get these uh, giants out of here before uh, those archers have a chance to be able to get those other defenses. So these giants are doing pretty good. You know, I mean, he had a ridiculous amount of them. This guy is definitely a higher level than me. And so, uh, yeah, I'm not doing too bad against what I have here. Though he is going to get a ridiculous amount of loot. If you look at my storages, look how full they are. I mean, a classic barge would have been the best thing to go against my own base. I would have barged it. That's the way to go. Anyways, I'm done. I don't want to keep showing you this stuff. Because, uh, again, my base is so low that most of the people are going to be able to snap, jump in, take my resources, and psh, peace. And as I mentioned, I believe that the best thing to do is move that over. So, um, there you have it. Okay. But my base... Here's what it is going on. Uh, what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to go ahead and upgrade uh, my last defense and try to get all these other defenses upgraded. And along with, um, I'm going to do at least one of the barracks. As you can see here, I have plenty of uh, resources to be able to do the upgrades I need to. Uh, I might launch one more attack. Again, I don't have any CC right now, so um, I'll request from my buddies here. Uh, but anyways, um, I don't believe a lot of them are on right now because it's uh, late, early in the morning for some. It's kind of weird. They're on the other side of the world. <laughs> I might have a buddy or two on right now, but uh, we're get, we're in war. So not, their priority is to help all the war people first before me So or anybody else. So anyways, this if you like this video, subscribe, smack a like, and definitely check out our our sponsors you know um guys got plenty of exciting videos coming up and you guys gotta see this stuff man we got a whole lot going on i'm working on a new angle i'm gonna think about trying to update stuff if you got some ideas of, of videos you like to see throw it in the comments i would like to hear from you so anyways this is Ramach saying smash peace